Hello Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to your Who's Coming Towards You love reading. We're going to be looking at who is coming up for you romantically. This could be someone new or it could be someone from your past. There may be some cards here that can reveal some things like personality traits, um, energy, spiritual orientation, etc. So we're going to have a look and explore that today. Um, so this can be for the cross watchers watching. Or if you do have um, a lot of air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in your natal birth chart, then um, this video can be for you. So let's have a look and see what comes up. Air signs. Who's coming towards you? Okay, you've got the lovers. So there's a soulmate or a twin flame that is coming up in your experience. Could be a Gemini. We've got Taurus with the Hierophant. crown the reading as well okay well, the the two cards that crown the reading are the tower and the empress so this is someone that's going to come into your life very quickly under very drastic circumstances or under turbulent circumstances with the tower card it may be that you may not start off on the best foot with this person um, or you may not start off ideally as you want it to. For example, it could be a one night stand. Um, this person could come in very suddenly and they're sort of taken or they're unavailable. The four of ones has come up. So they may be married or in a relationship when you connect or when you meet, or there's a likelihood um, that th there's an engagement or a marriage that's destined with this person. Maybe not for all of you, but for some of you, you've got that relationship card here. So, um, but I, I want to focus on the, the, the two cards that crown the reading. So the Tower and the Empress, both fire energy in this regard. So Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Now fire energy, this person may want to develop a relationship very quickly with you. Um, infatuation is very strong, very fast, and there's a very fast-paced energy to this person. It can also indicate that they're quite possessive and they're going, going to want you to themselves. Okay, the Empress is all about making things happen, but the Empress is also very caring and very maternal or paternal. This person may already be a parent, so they may have children, um, but I feel like with the Empress coming up here, uh, notice the stars about her. Um, there's astrological compatibility between the both of you. And the Empress is all about the physical. So this person is going to tick a lot of boxes for you, air signs, um, especially in the physical realm. What you're attracted to, um, if you want them to be established, etc. They may have all those sorts of things. Now, a few signs have come up, which is Gemini, Taurus, or Cancer. So... Um, for some of you watching, you may have a destined uh, Taurus, Gemini, or a Cancer coming in for this relationship here. Um, I feel with the Queen of Swords, with the Eight of Swords, this person can be, notice how the beak is shut, and then the Eight of Swords is like anxiety. This is like not having free speech or not being overly vocal. They may be more on the quiet side. Um... Or it's like they choose that they yeah, have to pick their battles. They choose their battles. They've got the lover's card, so they know how to communicate, but they don't always express it. They don't always know how to express it, or they choose not to. Sometimes they're deliberately more reserved than they need to be. My guess is that this person is more of an observer um, than a speaker. But the, the quality of your relationship is the lover's card. So it can be this is a destined soulmate or a twin flame, someone you've been searching for. Um... It can be someone you've already had a relationship with because the lovers is a relationship card and it can represent two lovers coming together, returning back together, especially because underneath that we've got the moon. So the moon can be the past, the subconscious. So uh, air signs, for some of you, if you're wanting an ex back, it's very likely you could come into communication again and, and rekindle things once again. Um, the ace of swords is here and it's reversed, which I think is a good sign because the ace is up. Uh, so let me point that out to you. So it's reversed. So the sword is up, which would indicate positivity. It's not like stuck in the ground. Um, it's almost like becoming unstuck. So the ace is this, this new opportunity to sort of reconnect if this is an X. 
Um, for some of you, it is it is going to be someone new and you may be meeting at an event of some kind. OK, it could be a work event because the Hierophant can be like work, money and like these beautiful venues. So you might be meeting at these sorts of places. It could be at a wedding, at an engagement, at a party of some kind. Uh, but I feel like they are they are quite a social person is, is what I'm seeing. The Page of Wands is here. So sometimes this person is very, very impulsive. Um, the page of ones can indicate like anger issues, or sometimes they can say things they don't necessarily mean. They don't know sometimes how to express their anger in a healthy way. So they, they could have a temperament here. Um, so they've got, Tor they've got a, a bit of everything really. So they've got Taurian energy. So they're very romantic. They're going to be very attractive. They're, they're going to be quite indulgent. They like the finer things in life. Um, you know, we've got the Gemini here, so they could be a very good flirt. Uh, Gemini energy, they may be younger than you, or they have this, this youthfulness about them. You know, they're playful, they're affectionate, they like to muck around, these sorts of things. Um, the Cancer card as well, they're very emotionally sensitive at times. They're quite nostalgic, um, and I feel like they've got a very caring energy to them. So they're going to care a lot about you. And, and, you know, this is what you want, air signs. You know, we want, we crave this this, this person or this energy that can look after us, that can reassure us, um, that can give us that emotional security because, you know, we often get um, carried away with our thoughts and being over anxious and overthinking. We're all known for that. So it's very nice that this person will be able to come in and do that. But remember what's crowning the reading is the tower card. So there is some turbulence that you're going to have to sort of bypass or overcome with this person. Now, no relationship is peaches and cream. They each have their own hurdles and challenges. It's it's absolutely possible for you to work through this together um, and to make that happen. Okay, so we've got the three of uh, cups reversed. So um, seeing that to me, I feel like this person has more like a closer group of friends or um, a couple, maybe two or three really good friends. I don't think they're just um, friends with everyone and tell everyone all these sorts of things. I think they like to keep some things private um, as well. But it can also be third-party situations. So air signs, if you're hooking up with someone you know is unavailable, obviously that's probably not the healthiest way to start a relationship, um, you know, based on dishonesty or, you know, um, if someone's still sort of divorcing or separating, it can create some tension. Uh, maybe not for all, but for some of you, you may be undergoing that. Uh, so you'll see these sorts of things. So I've got the Ten of Pentacles and that's reversed. So this person, I, I feel like that um, takes me back to what I was saying earlier, that they're going to want things very fast with you in one sense. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles is reversed, which would indicate they don't take the time to build friendship and, and build things like respect and, uh, you know, um, loyalty and commitment and those sorts of things, they're going to be very quick in this relationship. And if they're fire and you're air, the two of you fuel each other. Air fuels fire. So your energy is going to fuel them to, to go really, really fast. But you're going to have to be the one in this connection to slow things down. Um, you're going to have to be the one, which I think you will be, to, to hold back a little bit here, to hold back not always say what's on your mind or maybe keep it to yourself until you're ready to vocalize it or express yourself. Um, that's, that's the kind of, uh, that's the kind of energy, um, that I think is coming up in the cards. Um, the Hierophant, I, I get that this person is quite important. Okay. Maybe in the community, maybe in their industry, maybe in the, in the workplace, the Hierophant is like a title, so they may hold some sort of prestigious title. Um, they could be like a manager or they could be a CEO or they could be on the board of something. Uh, they could be a justice of peace. They could be an advocate for something. They may have some sort of title attached to their name. Um, you know, maybe they've got their PhD, for example, or their master's or their doc uh, if they have their doctorate, they have some sort of... Um, uh, something that is attached to their name that they have earned, uh, maybe through studying or whatever it is that they've done, they've got something linked to them here um, that they've worked very, very hard for. But I do get that they're a hard worker. Um, they want love. They do want relationships. There's very, very strong possibility that they want children here as well. Um, and I feel like you'll you'll uh, 
you'll vibe with this person energetically very well. There's compatibility here, um, especially uh, in your uh, astrological um, component here. So I really appreciate you tuning in and I do hope this has been an enjoyable reading. Thank you again so much for watching and I'm sure we'll catch up very soon. So thanks again. Bye for now.